know. Ooh-wee, I got to do something about this. I ain't made a video over here in a minute, baby. I'm usually at my table or in my room somewhere. So the other day, the queen, Tina Knowles, Larson, because she ain't divorced yet. I hope they don't get divorced. Ow. This damn fool. I'm gonna do a video on this whole thing. This silly ass motherfucker. What? The, the, the cigar and the laugh is what made me. <clears throat> Why am I looking at him with this thing on here? Come on. Cafe. I'm having a great cup of cappuccino with my boo. Here's a cappuccino. And I just asked him, was it Sean Ellis or Sean Ellis? And this was his response. I can't stand Charlie Murphy. John Amos. <laughs> I'm doing video. He this motherfucker almost made me choke. I'm gonna do a video on this whole thing with this silly ass motherfucker right This fat motherfucker. I can't stand him. This fat motherfucker. He's stupid as hell. Okay. All right, so I'm sitting down, multitasking. Like, oh, my ass hurt. Oh, <laughs> oh this thing hurt. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I took my boot. Ouch. Oh, that hurt my boot. Tag no way. Oh, that feels so good. Good on my booty. Yep, I ain't been over here in a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Damn it. I ain't getting up again. You know what? Let me use this. Yeah, that works just fine. I got this phone. I mean, this, this phone. <laughs> I'll be cutting it. <laughs> Ten minutes in, still ain't said two words. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so that was Tina Knowles, and she um, I sitting with her husband, and. I was drinking some water. I was drinking some water and the um the fool showed Eddie Murphy and John Amos laughing. And then showed himself laughing and his face getting closer and closer and closer. So I was like, <laughs> and the damn water went down the wrong pipe and choked me up. Almost killed me. But the thing that was funny is that I made a video. Damn, I meant to look up the video to, 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 to tell y'all which one it is. But it was the one where I was talking about YouTube. And then I went on, I was showing something about how YouTube be cutting people's videos and shit and taking away their views. And the people was like, um, a couple of the people was like, somebody said, well, what happened? Because it happened to me too. Yeah, I know a lot of people didn't see it, so y'all might not know what I'm talking about. So I was responding back to the couple of people that said, oh, what happened? Because my views went down too. 
And then some smart Alec was like, oh, yeah, he's sure, right. They took away your views. So, And I was like, no, this really happened. And I was showing the, the people like, see, this person said this to me. And then I said that back to them and yada, yada, yada. So at the, it, I think that was the video. And then I went on to say, because um, uh, I, like some time went on and I was like, <laughs> Don't don't go to uh, the store looking like this. <laughs> and I had on that gray jumpsuit that I have and my hair wasn't done, you know, like, you know, I'm home. And so I'm normally relaxed. So the guy in the video with the, the uh, 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 at the bottom of his um, thing, it says. It says you can tell he was tired of her, right? That's what that's what the fat ass uh, at the bottom of his his original thing because they you know they're supposed to be getting divorced, which I hope they don't. I hope they work things out. You could tell he was getting tired of her, and so one of my things I always say: Why is it so goddamn dark? Oh, wait up. Let me see. But I was saying that um, men get tired of women because I'm like, I was going to get married. And the reason I was going to marry him is because he's the type of man that, that, that does not sit up under me. Where you at? What you doing? This and that. Like we trusted each other because I'm the type of woman where I know men speak to women and they not always trying to have sex with them. If you the type of man where I can't trust you to go outside. And this is what I was saying in that video that you men, a man that, that you, you're not going to expect your woman to be on 500 all the time, dressed to the nines, or, you know, you come in the room and you got to every strand of hair got to be in place. Every, um, I think I was saying in that video, when you go outside, you know, y'all, y'all going to be dressed, <laughs> y'all going to be dressed appropriately, um, when y'all going somewhere. But if you just go into the, 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 uh, the dollar store don't look like me. If you got a, if your video, if your channel is you, you get dressed up, even if you go into the dollar tree, don't, don't look like me. Cause the fuck, I don't want to see you look like me. Even if you go into the dollar store, <laughs> get the fuck dressed up because that's what your channel was about. I could look at myself, look all fucked up just to go to the dollar store, <laughs> a little piggly wiggly. If you introduced yourself where you show in your closet and your nice finery and all this and that, and the next thing you know, you looking like you wearing this every day, then I'm not going to be interested in your channel. This telling you the truth. <laughs> you better have that motherfucker decked out because that's why I'm tuning in because that's what you do. That's what we want to see. We don't want to see a motherfucker looking like me. <laughs> If you wear a $500 pair of shoes and slippers, that, that's what the fuck we want to keep seeing. Don't, don't, don't be like, don't, don't, don't do this. These, these cost a dollar 25. <laughs> and that's the video that I was saying that in. Cause I said, your man, you and your man can go out in your finery. But when, when you, when y'all come home, that motherfucker got hair gonna be sitting up like this. Like when I, when the video first came on, my hair was up. Oh yeah, let me fix that. <laughs> but when he come home, he wanna relax. <clears throat> he don't want you nit nitpicking at him. When you look over at that motherfucker, belly gonna be out, shirt open, over there scratching his ass, farting. <laughs> but when y'all in the street, it's time to it's five hundred, right? So. <laughs> Um, I'm just one of those women. I, I don't expect that. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> but a woman like Miss Knowles, she want ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la. <laughs> and her daughter is a carbon copy of her. Jay Z ain't like that. 
That motherfucker ain't like that. You know, he's in the business. So he in the business. But then when he go home, <laughs> you know, so that's how you wind up cheating on her. <laughs> just, just keeping it real. But, um, you know, you can't do that. You can't like, come on, come on. You got to, you got to give her something. But it. <laughs> but you men, y'all want that type of woman and you got to cater to it. So here go, here go Tamar and JR. <laughs> I, I, I just put one, one. I, I see the end of this relationship because who took who out the refrigerator? Who took what out the refrigerator? And um, you arguing over toast, Tamar, baby. My feelings is getting hurt, and I about that. Your feelings getting hurt over toast. See, I don't understand how men put up with with women like that. It ain't. It's not about the sex because you get sex from anybody. It, and, and relieve yourself and then go back to the woman because she's really who you are emotionally attached to. The sex is not emotional. And a lot of women don't understand that. <laughs> you ain't emotionally attached to a bitch that you need to empty yourself into. They don't understand that. And that's how I am with men. I can't, I, I swear to God, I was talking to my sister Zoanne last night. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I ran up to the quick check and I came back and I, my, I was most active, sexually active when I was in my twenties. <clears throat> and, you know, I had my, my daughter when I was, um, pregnant at 14. I had her when I was 15. I was pregnant with my son when I had at, at 21 and I had him at 21. Wait a minute. Um, oh yeah, actually. Yeah, I got pregnant at the beginning of my uh, 21, and I had him at the end of 21. <laughs> the beginning of the year, the whole 10 months, I had him at the end of the year. So, and they're six months apart. They have the same father. So, I was telling her last night, the men that I slept with, the first thing, the very first thing that I look at is, Will will they be? Will will my kids be safe around him? What are his morals? Are are, are are is he father material? If not, he ain't nothing but a booty call to me. <laughs> so, cause I gotta be able to trust this motherfucker around my kids. Now, if I as a single parent, if my morals and my standards cause them to be whatever they are. Okay. They're my kids, but I can't have you around them. And then we not together no more. And they picked up all your habits that your parents taught you taught to him. And now you don't fuck my kids up. Cause now they got my habits, my morals, my standards, and whatever your parents taught you and fucked you up with, you didn't gave them to my kids. So I never had a man around my kids for that reason. So, um, no, you're not, you're not meeting my kids. You're not seeing my kids. You're not being around my kids. You're not influencing my kids. But if you were possibly good father material that can lead to a relationship, that can lead to a marriage, then yes. But no, fuck out of here. No, you're just a one night stand to me. So um, you basically, I looked at you as community dick. That's the harsh reality of it. But you, I, my kids came first. And that's how I looked at you. I never looked at you as, you know, you weren't mind fucking me or let me see if I could get into them draws. It was never that. So I always got along with the men that I that I had my one night stands with. And sometimes I slept with the one, or, one or, or like four of them. I think I had sex with more than once. I, not think, I know. I had a sex with four of the men more than once but and then when I turned 30 I was celibate for 10 years and then I met the guy the man that I became engaged with so I've not had a lot of sex I've had a lot of men but not a lot of sex but that's why because you you 
you're not influencing my kids. So she said to me, oh yeah, because that's why the guy that I was with, her daughter got attached to him. And it took her months because she was like, well, where is he when they broke up? And you know, I said, see, <laughs> we literally just had that conversation last night because every man that you introduce your child to, they get attached to them because they're kids and they want that father figure. And they have to break up with the man, just like when you break up with the man. So like, no, I'm not taking my kids through that because they look to a man for security. And everybody that you're in a relationship with, you, you're not just in a relationship with them. And so men, men, when you're with a man, when you're with a woman and she has kids, you got to think about that. But y'all don't care. Y'all just want the pussy. You know, no, no, I'll take care of you. Oh, here, I'm, I'm going to buy him something. Oh, no, I'll take little man out. Little, I'll take little lady out and show her. You know, I'll be a friend. I'll be a father figure. Okay, but are you going to stay in their life and be their friend and be a father figure to them until they're 18? And then once they get 18, they're going to go off to college. And, you know, get, are you going to stay in their life and give them advice? So you're not just getting involved with the mother. You're building a relationship with the child. The next woman that you get involved with, will she be understanding or will she say you still fucking that bitch? See, I would understand that if I was with somebody and we broke up. Um, excuse me. If, if I if I met a man and the man said to me, you know, I still got a relationship with my ex kids. I would understand that. I wouldn't. I, but I'm this is just me because I understand you still got a relationship with your exes, even if they're not biologically your kids. I would understand that. A lot of women would not. I wouldn't think you're still sleeping with the the your ex's kids. And that's how I was with Michael. His biological sons, because he broke up with their mother, but her daughter, which was not his, he still had a relationship with her. And I understood that. Because as, especially as a girl, yeah, he... They, you go go ahead and support her because she needs to talk to you about shit that's going on in her life. But but that daughter that he had with his ex, that wasn't even his biological daughter. But absolutely, you go and you have a conversation with her. You absolutely have a conversation with her. You absolutely take her to where she needs to go. And be that father figure to her, because <laughs> Don't let her ask a nigga that's, that's going to give her the wrong advice and steer her the wrong way. And you've been in her life since, since she was two years old. No, you don't cut her off because you, you, me, you and I are talking. No, you don't do that because then I don't respect you as a man. You see, but a lot of women don't think like that. You can't cut that relationship off. A lot of bitches are simple minded. Kind of a motherfucking man. How you gonna look at my face and you cutting off a a, a a a young adult female that needs your guidance and advice and then call yourself a man to me? No, no, you don't do them shit like that. So, and I was trying to get him to establish a relationship back with his sons, but they were upset because he wasn't with his mother, and I understand that too. But anyway, rest the soul. So. Relationships are important, but damn, I veered off, didn't I? Because I was talking about Tina Knowles. <laughs> and this is what I'm saying about that relationship is that I do hope they work things out because um, it's really hard to find someone. But um, I forget his name, his first name, um, Larson, when he said and see the two of them. The two of them sitting at wherever restaurant they were in with that damn espresso um, coffee she was drinking with her hair and his hair and the way she was. And when he flashed back to the Eddie Murphy movie, 60s. <laughs> so when they started laughing, it's like they didn't even change the time scene. It's 
not the time scene. <sighs> Can't say it right. You know what I mean. All right. So listen, men and women want to be comfortable in their home. <clears throat> but they also want to be comfortable around each other. And women don't want to be made to feel uncomfortable because they like something. <laughs> Women don't want it done to them, and men don't want it done to them. But you got to have a little humor. You got to be comfortable enough to say things around each other without feeling that you're being nitpicked on. Now, it seems to me in Tamar Braxton's case that her man, Jeremy, I forget his name, his last name. Oh, they, she calls him JR. It seems that he has like a good sense of humor. And Tamar has a good sense of humor if the joke is not about her. <laughs> and that's why I think that in all relationships, you need time together. And you need time apart. It don't matter what your sign is. It don't matter how much money you have and how much money you do not have. You have to have time together and you have to have time apart. You need to have time to miss each other. And if y'all can't trust each other so that when you're not around each other, you thinking, She's messing with somebody. He's messing with somebody. Y'all shouldn't be together because you got trust issues. You cannot sit up under a motherfucker all the time. I say this in every video. And some of it is because of me personally, because I'm a Virgo and I like my time alone. <laughs> but some of it is just because, and a lot of it is just because it's true. Get a part-time job somewhere. Go hang in a club somewhere. Or I'm not talking about a bar. I'm just talking about a club where maybe they play uh, games or bingos or cards or just do activities or something. Or um, make, a, what's that stuff like? Play, Play-Doh or something. Or art, you know, where they draw something. Something. A wood making. Whatever it is. Get a motherfucking hobby. <laughs> where you do something separate from your significant other, something that is just for you so that you miss each other. Like if you're not still working, <laughs> right? Do something so that y'all miss each other because you cannot sit up under another human being all the time. Even if you live on an island by yourself, do something by yourself on the island that's for yourself. And so this way, when you come back, you miss the other person. And it's something that you did for yourself by yourself. You don't sit up under, under somebody all the time. What's the matter with y'all? <laughs> That's how you get nitpicking at each other. Because you're just constantly in each other's face. It's just human beings. Being human beings. So anyway... I hope whatever is going on, and that's and this is where you get to the point where you don't even want to have sex with each other. <coughs> all right, that's all I want to say. Let me cut this tape. I'll cut this thing down. <coughs> but oh my goodness. I hope this goddamn allergy. I, I couldn't even turn on the AC. I can't. I'll be dead. Not literally. Not literally dead. I just mean I'll be the, the stuff that's flying in the air. Oh, I hate having year round allergies. I think so. This medication that I'm taking is is causing all of this. I've eaten nothing today other than those cough drops. 
you know, couples do better. Don't don't be getting married just to get divorced a couple of years later. Because, I mean, unless you just want to be single. But, you know, marriage is, uh, marriage is I, I'm never getting divorced. And that's why I don't uh, take marriage lightly. Because um, the contract of marriage, and it's not even about money or getting married to somebody for money. Um, of course, when you marry somebody, you want to marry somebody that puts you in the best position, <clears throat> excuse me, not just financially, but for a soulmate, a soulmate is somebody that no matter what, whether you have money, whether you don't have money, somebody that emotionally, mentally, that is the person that, you know, no matter what goes on in this world, you got each other's back. You make each other happy have sex until you can't have sex anymore. <laughs> um, that's your backup plan when things go wrong. The person that you make plans to, to uh, until the end of your life, your, your uh, burial, how you going to die uh, after you die, what's going to happen, you know, make plans for after you die, what kind of service you're going to have. If you're going to have a service, um, that should, that person should be your friend. Marry your friend. I always say that marry your friend so that when there's in love goes away and you just love the person, you love the person because they're your friend. You love the person because you like each other. Right? So if you focus on that, you don't have to worry about it. And you should like yourself before you worry about liking somebody else. Because I'm telling you, in love goes away. It does. It usually goes away in about three months. <laughs> it takes you three months to fall in love. It takes you about three months to fall out of love. But if you like the person, if you respect the person, if you value their friendship, and if you respect their opinions, even the ones that you disagree with, if you respect the fact that they have a right to their opinions, then when y'all all are together and there's nothing to do and there's no more money to spend and they're sitting there with a bag hooked up to their kidneys, you don't mind spending time with them. You don't mind being with them when they stink. You don't mind being with them when they smell good. You don't mind being with them when they got a million dollars. And you don't mind being with them when they got one penny. That's the motherfucker that you marry. Right? Say it in my other videos. Have a good day.